This is Joe here with Average Joe Video, and I certainly did not expect to be delivering this news so soon after the purchase of my new Honda lawnmower. Honda has recently ordered a stop sale of certain Honda lawnmowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the notice that I found online from America Honda. It says, America Honda has issued an immediate stop sale notice for certain HRN 216 and HRX 217K walk behind lawnmowers. Currently, Honda is conducting an in-depth investigation into the product concern. All HRN 216 and HRX 217K6 product in dealer and Honda inventory will be placed on hold and cannot be rented or retailed into the market. There is no further information to share at this time. So if you go into a Lowe's or a Home Depot, you will see that all of the Honda lawnmowers have been pulled. Or if you try to ring them up, it's going to come up as a stop sale and essentially those retailers are not allowed to sell them to you. So this is obviously bad news for Honda. Aside from the issue that they're going to stop production in September, this is a whole new issue. So what exactly is the problem? Why would they stop the sale of them? So I did a little bit of information seeking and what I found is, is that these particular units have a bad cam assembly. Now I'm not a small engine technician. I do know my way around small engines, but basically here's the idea. The cam assembly is a plastic part and it does have a spring as well as a small piece on there that allows the engine to essentially decompress during the starting stroke. So when you're pulling the rope, the engine is essentially being decompressed. Uh, it's essentially opening the exhaust valve to make pulling the starter rope easier. Otherwise, you would have so much compression there that it's going to basically pull the cord back very abruptly and that could possibly cause injury. So what's ironic is I've seen a lot of these mowers on Facebook Marketplace and they're not even that old and I'm wondering if perhaps that's the reason. So I got to looking, I checked out Home Depot's website and I saw that a lot of the recent reviews indicated that people were having problems starting the mower. They indicate they pulled it once, they ran it and they shut it off and then it's hard to pull again. Now obviously I'm a bigger guy so if it was harder to pull I'm sure I could still pull it but obviously that's not normal. So the reason why I'm doing this update video is because if you own one of these newer Honda lawnmowers make sure that you register it with Honda if you haven't already that way you are notified if there is a recall. So the stop sale, from what I understand, does not necessarily mean that there will be a recall, but that's the idea. Now, if you're wondering why all of a sudden are these parts bad? So I did some more digging in terms of information, and it turns out that the supplier for this particular component, because Honda does not make this cam assembly um, in their factory, but the supplier for this particular component apparently was not allowing the plastic to cool before installing the spring and the other metal component that goes along with that. So that's why there are a bunch of defective cam assemblies. Now keep in mind that in order to replace that assembly, obviously you have to remove the valve cover. Uh, and obviously while they're in there, they're gonna wanna check to make sure that your valves are adjusted correctly. Uh, if you hadn't known about that cam problem, you might even think that the valves were simply out of adjustment. But again, this is something that everyone's gonna be hearing about. So obviously that's kind of uh, very disappointing. I mean, things happen. We're gonna see where this goes and I'm gonna provide you with more updates. But make sure that you press like on this video, hit the bell so that you're notified and please consider subscribing because I'm definitely gonna be providing more updates about this particular mower and whether or not I encounter an issue.